Hello. So today I'm going to show off Google Chromium OS running on a Google Pixel 7 Pro smartphone. This is going to be running Chromium OS in a virtual machine. And I have to flash a custom build of AOSP with some uh, custom build of Chromium OS called, um, I believe, Ferro Chrome in order for this to work. So to start off, I'm just in stock bare bones AOSP right here. I'm going to boot up Chromium OS right now by launching VM Launcher app. I have to do a lot of setup first to get this working. Um, none of that's going to be shown here, but it's going to boot up and I already have some peripherals installed so I can actually properly navigate while I'm using Chrome OS. So you can see I'm booted into Chromium OS. Uh, now the thing is, because this is an open source version of Chrome OS, I don't have the ability to add users with a Google account. So I need to kind of finagle my way into the entering guest mode. If I can do that, I think it's kind of random how it works. Okay. There we go. Browse as guest. Hello. Uh, anyways, you can see the performance is not too bad, actually. And there are some issues, like networking is kind of a pain to set up. But if you use these settings, it's you're able to route the network configuration from the main Android host to the underlying Chromium OS VM. Uh, but let me browse as guest. There we go. Okay. So now... Okay, I'm in guest mode. So let me just quickly, let me make sure it's actually booted up. Okay, yeah. Like, obviously the screen size is not ideal here. Um, I had to use a Pixel 7 Pro because I wasn't able to get this working on my Pixel 8 Pro. If I was, I would be able to output this to an external display and actually have like a full screen experience, proper desktop experience. But sadly, I was only able to get this to work on my Pixel 7 Pro, which does not support display output. I'm just gonna show off some of the, the settings and stuff like that. Ethernet says connected. I might have to go back in and change some of the settings about Chromium OS. Version 126 is a fresh build from source. This is a build of Chromium OS for ARM64 processors because this is a ARM, ARM, um, Pixel smartphone. You can see just the various things here work. Now let me see, does networking work? So AndroidAuthority.com. <clears throat> uh, actually, it looks like I do got to configure network quick. So let's do that here. I believe the process to do that is right here. I see the change to IP address that's default. For some reason, this default doesn't work. Okay, that should do it. Again, not ideal input here because I'm using a tiny phone screen. Now let's try reload. Okay. Well, okay, there we go. Time seemed to update it on its own. Well, let's refresh. And there you go. I am on browsing. This is androidauthority.com, the current um, front page of the website. And as you can see, this is in a build of Chromium running within Chromium OS in a virtual machine where the host is an Android uh, 14 running Pixel 7 Pro. And let me just show another website. Shameless self plug. I'm Michelle Rahman, and I like digging into and discovering Android stuff. Those of you who've been following Android for a long time may have heard of a project called Andromeda where Google has tried to 
um, where Google was rumored to be merging Android and Chrome OS that ultimately fell through and did not come because um, they decided, you know, Android does things really well for smartphones and mobile devices. Chrome OS does things pretty well for laptops and um, PC form factors. But with this new Ferrochrome project, you kind of get the best of both worlds where you have your Android phone running Android when it's in its regular mobile mode. And potentially, once you hook this up to an external monitor, if Google decides to release this as an option, you could have your Android smartphone turn into a full-fledged Chromium OS slash Chrome OS running portable PC. Um, that's the idea. And performance is not too bad. Like, this is running a full build of Chromium OS in a virtual machine. Even touch is not that bad. And as you can see, um, <clears throat> USB devices like keyboard and mouse work, networking works, graphics work. Actually, let me see if audio works. I know audio is has been a work in progress, but I don't know if it actually works in this. I'm just going to play any random video. Yeah, I can see windowing work too. Give me anything. Give me a short. Come on. Oh, well, the button presses are being intercepted. Ah. Audio. Okay. I don't think audio is working. But I mean, you can see clearly video is working. It's hardware accelerated, runs pretty well. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like audio is working right now. But I know that is something that's being worked on. So yeah, this is straight up just running on my phone. And um, it does use a lot of memory. So if I exit, go back to the home screen, it's probably going to kill the VM. Actually, let me test that right now. Went back. Now I'm just going to open it up. Yeah, it, I think it just died. <laughs> Clearly a work in progress, but very, very cool proof of concept slash demo of this potential hybrid um, workstation kind of UI we could be getting in the future. So that's all. Thanks for watching and you know, follow me and keep up with Android Authority for more news.